Welcome to Matt Parker Tutorial Services. Today I'm going to show you how to create an order form in Microsoft Access for a system which allows you to purchase more than one product in one order. The steps I've outlined below. Firstly, I'm going to show you how a line total query is constructed. Then I'm going to show you how to make an order form. Then I'm going to show you how to make a subform for the total query. Then I'm going to sh show you how to insert a text box to calculate the grand total. And then we're going to nest the subform into the order form, and you've got a fully working solution. Okay, if we refer to the database, the first thing I want to get across to you are the relationships. So if we look at the relationships we've got here, in this system we've got a person, that could be a customer, employee, staff, whatever it is. Main thing here, you've got your product, service, whatever it is. Main thing, you've got this structure, your order, everything to do with the order, the shipping, the collection, the order date goes in this table. Everything to do with the order product, which is the product line, which is if you like that when you get a table underneath an invoice, this is the table that deals with that. Now under this structure, obviously you can only have one product being sold at one price, you can't have discounted items. Now. You're only going to store the quantity in this table. Everything else, the line total, okay, and the grand total, you'd work out using queries. Okay, now we're on a low amount of battery power, so I better get a move on. Okay, so here I'm going to show you how to make a query first. So you're going to create a query, you're going to use the design view, you're going to add the relevant tables, and then click close. Once you've done that, you will end up with a query, because I'm in a hurry, that looks something like this. You'll have dragged the fields off, and you'll have these fields here. Now, the next thing you do is you type this formula, line total, colon, and that creates an extra field, price in square brackets, times quantity in square brackets. Now, if you were referring to a different table, you'd put the name of the table in square brackets, and then an apostrophe. This query here will be used to make a subform, the form for the line total. Okay, so the next thing you do, so we've done the first step, then you would follow through the wizard to make an order form. Okay, so you'd very simply click on TBL order, create, and then follow the wizard through to make, which I'm not going to do because obviously you know how to follow a wizard. So you'd follow through the wizard to make an order form. Once you've made the order form, okay, you would want to go into design view on it, and the tool you'd use is this one here, which makes a subform. When you click on the subform, and I'm going to click there and cancel, you're obviously going to do it down here. You're going to bind it to the form that you've made for the order line. I'm going to click cancel there and make sure the keys are connected. Okay. Once you've done that, okay, we're not going to save those changes. You will have created the subform. Okay, now, when you've created the subform, I think you'd like to work out the grand total. So you'll notice that we were, used a query to work out the grand total. On here, if I go into that form in Design View, in the footer, you'll notice I've got, using the text tool, I've dragged the footer down. So to do that, okay, dragged it down. Okay, and I've created, used the AB tool to create a text box. And then I've put in equal sum, open a brackets, and then square brackets, line total, close the square brackets, close the curly brackets. And that works out my grand total. Now, if I want to, I can click on that field. I can go to properties of that field. And I can go to the type of data. And I can select, I want to select currency here. So if I go to format, sorry, and I can select currency. And then the output of that will be displayed as currency. Close that subform. And now when I open up the order form, you'll notice that the line total is being calculated in my subform. And indeed, the grand total is being calculated there. Now, I'm going to quickly show you whilst we're here how to get rid of those buttons, which you don't need. So if I go into design view and I click up here and I go to properties, okay, I make the navigation buttons and the record selectors on no. And that hides those quite nicely. And then when I open the form, having saved my changes, you notice I've got a nice neat layout here and it works out the subtotal and my command buttons, which I'll show you how to use later, can go in there. Now let's just show you this working, okay? I'll go to make a fresh record. I'm going to select one of my people. I'm going to put in today's date. And then I'm going to select a random product. I'm going to put in a quantity. Now you can straighten out these fields yourself. 
okay and you'll see it works out the line total instantaneously as I'm doing it okay and then I scroll down to the bottom and you'll see that it's worked out the grand total instantaneously as well okay now that's it okay we've completed all the steps we've inserted a text box to calculate the grand total and we've nested the sub form into the order form okay and that's it I'm gonna click X now that's it thank you for listening remember Matt Parker tutorial services there to help teachers with the administration there to help students with the coursework and there to help businesses set up their IT systems